So the webcam is the Insta360 link and um, let's talk about it. First, um, this webcam is literally the easiest thing to set up. It's just like every other webcam. I know some webcams that are like higher quality and like higher tier take a lot more to set up and you have to do more like work. You literally just plug this in and you download a software. That's it. And then once you have that done, you just literally use it straight out of the box. Like it's so simple. It's honestly easier to use that than like this camera that I have set up. If you want to download the software, um, the link will be in my description. This webcam has a gimbal design, which means it can rotate freely throughout like an entire range of motion. So the first feature that I want to talk about on this webcam is that it actually goes to 4K. Most webcams, like I said, are like 720p or 1080p. Most of them peak out at 1080p, but this webcam goes to 4K. My camera that I'm filming on, this $1,000 camera does not do 4K. So that's one thing that this webcam actually does better than my camera as for overall quality you can be the judge of that i'm gonna be throwing up obviously webcam footage throughout this whole video um but for like physical pixel quality it does go up to 4k at 30 fps which is super nice for recording as well as that you can obviously downscale it to things like 1080p 60 fps 720p 60 fps so it's super flexible it'll have whatever aspect ratio you need and with some proper lighting you can really get a good image out of this and that in combination with the half inch sensor on this thing gives you a really nice like kind of background blur effect like you're seeing on this camera right now i'm not recording this on the webcam i'm recording this on my camera but as you can see like the kind of background blur when i hold something up stuff like that the webcam also does which is another super sick touch it's just a gimmick at the end of the day like how many times when you're streaming are you really gonna like hold something up to focus on but it just makes your camera look so much better and it's one of my like favorite things to do on stream whenever i'm showing my chat something from my phone or like something on my desk it's just cool to do it and it makes me feel like i'm a professional streamer you know what i mean it's just got that feel to it just like that high quality creator along with that obviously your face is gonna look great like it's gonna capture a lot of detail on your face because of the 4k quality as well as the half inch sensor it's not gonna be giving you like blurry like oversaturated face that just kind of like washes out and looks like trash, which is what most webcams do. Next up, another really cool thing about this camera that could be super helpful, um, depending on what kind of streamer you are. It has AI tracking, which is something that, again, my camera doesn't have. You can move around your desk or like move around your entire room, literally, because it can track you from a pretty crazy distance. And the camera will just adjust and follow you across the room, wherever you're going. You can wheel around in your chair. You can go grab something from the other side of your room. You can go stand up and the camera will adjust the angle upwards to compensate. So if you're someone like a dance streamer or really interactive streamer or say you're doing like a pc building stream where you're gonna be moving around your room or say you're recording a video like maybe a skating tricks video where you're like skating back and forth across the frame there's a lot of situations where this is going to come in clutch for you and instead of having to like walk over and fix your frame constantly it'll just do it for you with ai i just thought this was a really cool feature that was worth mentioning because again this is another one of those things that just adds like that layer of quality where it say you're streaming or recording and your viewers are going to see that and be like that's cool. That's high quality. This guy's legit. The next thing that I want to talk about is smart gesture control, which is another really cool gimmick on this thing. You can make motions with your hands and the camera with AI will respond to those motions and do things on your camera like zoom in and out. First off, you can do a palm motion to enable the AI tracking that will follow you around the room or do another palm motion to disable it so that it'll hold a still frame. If you make an L with your hand and then move that L upwards or downwards, it will zoom in or out. You do this by moving your hand a short distance and then holding it in place while the camera and zooms and then you just let go of the L symbol whenever you want it to stop and it will. This works especially well when you have AI tracking enabled because they both work together to always keep you perfectly in the frame. Next, I want to highlight the true focus, which is a feature that I kind of showed you guys earlier, but I want to go a little bit more in depth now. So true focus is when you can hold up an object in front of your camera and it'll automatically adjust the background, the lighting, the zoom, everything, and just make that object look perfect. You can do this at any range. As long as it like goes up and covers your face, the camera will detect that and start focusing on it instead. So say you want to show your chat a super cool tweet on your phone just hold up your phone to the camera and it'll do it for you this is another touch of quality like i just keep talking about everything on this webcam just ups the quality and makes you look more professional and none of these things feel cheap or like take a long time to focus or like make loud noises there's some webcams that i've used in the past that will do similar things like this but they always do it clunkier. And I popped into the software to show you guys this one. If you go over to image settings, you have full control of everything from auto white balance, turning that off, and you can play around with the temperature yourself, even exposure, and you have a full graph for control, down to brightness, so you can make your image obviously brighter or darker. Contrast, help you stand out against your background a little bit more. Saturation to help make your background pop a little bit. And even sharpness, so that if your camera looks a little bit blurry, like right now, you can sharpen it up to kind of get those edges a little bit more defined. Then you can save it as a preset, so you never have to mess with your settings again. You can also go over here to more settings and see manually enabling auto tracking, sequel tap tracking, AI zoom, and then things like manual focus where you can drag a bar to focus your image or obviously just autofocus. Then obviously HDR, which I'll mention in a minute. You can mirror your image. So if you like how you look inverted, I don't. 
So there's all kinds of control that you have over this, especially considering it's a webcam and it's all easily controlled inside the software. The next thing that I want to talk about is the HDR mode. HDR mode basically perfectly balances the highlights and shadows in your room. This helps when your image is like super blown out by windows in the background or like a light in the background, or if you have like another room in the background that's super bright, this is going to help your image to just look much more consistent and better for your face in your like closest images rather than the background ruining the entire shot. So as you can see, this ring light in the background is basically not even affecting the shot. It still looks just as good as if the ring light was not there. That's the power of HDR. Without HDR, this would look really blown out and the camera would be struggling to either focus on my face or the ring light. But yeah, HDR solves that problem. So for a lot of you guys, I know if you're doing like streaming or content creation and you don't have the privilege of having like a, a room that's just a wall behind you. I got really lucky with this area. It's just a blank wall that I could kind of decorate, but I didn't have this when I started out and my camera looked like trash because I was using a terrible webcam. So HDR coming in clutch. The next thing that I want to talk about is the desk view mode, which is super cool. Basically for my camera right now, if I want to show something on my desk, I have to reach out and adjust the camera and move it. Whereas with this webcam, you just click a button and it'll automatically flip the camera downwards, focus perfectly on your desk. And it's still the exact same quality as like the face shot. So you can show things on your desk in full detail. This is awesome because whenever you're done with that, you can just press the button again and it'll pop back up to your face and show your face again. So you don't have to constantly be reaching out and adjusting it back and forth. Like if you want to show your chat a hand cam or something, press a button, boom, hand cam. 10 minutes later, you want to go back to the face cam, press a button, boom, face cam. It can also be great if you're reviewing like documents during a call, like for online school, if you're still in online school, you can show your work with the desk view. Next feature that I want to talk about is portrait mode. And this is for all of you guys out there that do TikTok lives, Instagram lives, or film TikToks or like Instagram reels or YouTube shorts. Basically the camera will auto adjust to have a vertical aspect ratio for you. And it'll still have that same 4K quality AI tracking overhead mode. It has all the same features and quality in a vertical format. And again, you don't have to reach up and manually adjust the webcam. You press a button, it does it for you, just like the desk mode view. That is a feature that I wish my camera could do because every time I go to film TikToks, I have to take my camera off the mount, put it on a completely different mount, and then make it vertical. It could be so much easier. All I'd have to do is just press a button. But the webcam is smarter than my actual camera. Again, this is perfect for you guys out there that do TikTok, Instagram, YouTube shorts, anything vertical. And you never have to actually move your camera to a different position. You can leave it sitting on top of your monitor and just press a button. Final thing that I wanted to talk about is the privacy mode, which is something that's pretty cool about this webcam. For those of you out there that are super concerned with like privacy, I know a lot of people that get like the flip down camera covers to cover up their uh, webcam on the laptops and stuff. This webcam actually has a built in feature with that in mind. If you turn off the webcam after 10 seconds of inactivity, it'll automatically flip the camera straight down so that it's not capturing anything in your room. It's just capturing like your keyboard. So I guess if a foreign government were to like steal your, your footage, they would just get a picture of your keyboard. It's just a super thoughtful touch. Like this didn't need to be added. I don't think anybody would have complained if the webcam didn't have a privacy mode. But again, this is just one of those quality of life things that just makes the webcam stand out against any other webcam. What webcam do you know that will automatically adjust itself to flip downwards to save your privacy? But yeah, that's everything that I want to talk about with this webcam. Obviously, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe. And if you wanted to check out this webcam, there will be an affiliate link in the description of this video. Thank you to Insta360 for sponsoring this video. And the link in the description is actually an affiliate link. So if you guys go and purchase that webcam, I will get a small percentage of that. So not only are you getting a great webcam, you're also supporting the channel. Now, yes, this video is sponsored, but they didn't tell me any rules about like, I, I couldn't talk about negative things or I couldn't be honest in the review. Like I know people worry about sponsored videos because the reviews sometimes aren't honest, but believe me, I don't accept sponsorships that I don't actually like the product. I get a lot of emails with sponsorship offers and I decline the vast majority of them because I don't want to promote and recommend products that I wouldn't personally use and I wouldn't personally recommend to people. You guys know there are so many cheap webcams out there and I swear to you, half of the market has reached out to me, mainly because of my TikTok page. I post a lot of tech content there. If you guys want to go check that out, um, obviously links in the description. I have almost 500K on TikTok. So I'd really appreciate if you guys drop a follow over there. But yeah, I have never taken a webcam sponsorship before because I don't like webcams. Like I said, every webcam that I've ever used has been bad, except for this one. I was really, really impressed with this. Like you guys have seen throughout the video, a common theme, this webcam can do a lot of things that my camera can't even do. And my camera was what, three times the cost, more than three times the cost. So yeah, if you were looking for a webcam, um, you know, kind of a middle ground between a webcam and a full thousand dollar camera setup, this is the perfect step for you. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next one. And stay tuned for Vlogmas because Vlogmas is going to be awesome.